Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. This is on VB scripting. We are going to concentrate on control structures in VB script. The fundamental control structure is the branching one, which is if then else. I have assigned a variable a to 10. Now I simply compare if a is less than 10, do this message box or print this. Let us execute this one. So either it has to go based on this condition or this branch. Okay. Now we very well know this is A is 10. So 10 is not less than 10. Now let me change it to say A is 8. Uh, and then reverse the condition A greater than 10. Then look at this. Let us see what happens over here. If now 8 is not greater than 10. So it is saying A not greater. So since this condition has become false, it came to this else portion. Now, if I want to have the input from the user, for example, input box within that give a number. Okay. Now, I am getting the number from the user. I am passing that to A. So let us see what happens over here. Now I'm typing uh, 11 and then it says A is greater. So so it, A 11 is greater than 10 so it is coming over here. So either the input comes from the user or from a hard coded value or from another variable. It has the same effect because we are comparing only the value in this if condition. Now let us take this situation. A is greater than 10 and then we are doing different message boxes. I want to compare two conditions. I want to have two conditions. If A is greater than 10 or A is less than uh, 5. Either it should be greater than 10 or it should be less than 5. In that case, I am changing the messages. Okay. Look at this. Now, this is coming to then part and coming to else part are the message boxes. So if this condition is true or if this condition is true, then it will come over here depending upon the situation. So I get the number from the user. I do a comparison. Let us execute this one. See what happens. It says invalid character in line number 5, character 12. So if you have any syntax error, it will give an issue over that line number 5. It says this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have given like a C syntax. So two pipelines are not allowed. You need to use OR, which is the logical operator. So you have to explicitly spell that. Now let us execute this. Now it is accepting. Now let us say, I let me give a number 12. Give OK. Coming to the then part, because 12 is greater than 10. So this is satisfied. Now let me give a number which is less than 5. Okay. Again it will come over here. Now let us do this once again. I am giving a number 3. It is going to the then part once again because this part has become true. So in an OR condition you can have either this or this. If either one is true it will come to this then part. If both are false then it will come to the else part. So I need to give a number which is not greater than 10 at the same time which is not less than 5 so let me give a number 7 I give number 7 it says coming to else part because both the conditions this one this is a relational condition this is a relational condition a combination of relational conditions are forming a logical condition so the whole thing became false it came over here this is a fundamental thing. Now you can use either AND or NOT. These are all the logical operators. So you can use A and D for the logical operation or O or NOT for NOT. So you have to explicitly spell in the conditions. Now let us have a variety of conditions chained one after the other. Let us look at this series of conditions. Now I am getting the input from the user. If A is equal to 1, then print this. If A is equal to 2, print this. Now I am saying, else if. This is a construct. 
this is one other uh, variety of if conditions do this condition if this is false then do this condition if that is false do this condition so again rather than if then else and then end if now we are saying if then else if else if else if and then finally else part so I have to put the body of that then inside this there is no open brace close brace if you notice here the equality condition here in VB script is a single equal to unlike C or C sharp you don't have double equal to it is a single equal to now let me execute this now let me give the number 2 it says apple so if you go here it comes to this portion if a equal to 2 print this now let me give uh, anything other than 1 2 3 4 let us give 7 I give 7 and then it goes to the no fruit because it comes to this is not equal to 1 2 3 or 4 so it comes to this portion so if else then else if else if else and if is also another construct in control structures to simplify this multiple else if there is another way look at this construct this is to simplify the multiple if then else if conditions we have a control structure called select case and then n select for the select case you give the variable name then say case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 case 1 meaning if a equal to 1 case 2 meaning if a equal to 2 so it's uh, kind of abstracting the if conditions in a better readable format if nothing is matching you have to use case else and then at the end you have to use n select this is very similar to the C switch case you don't have a break statement here so instead this is same as multiple if then else if but this is more readable because it, it's the verbs are simple so select and then case 1 case 2 case 3 so let us execute this the effect of if then else if and the select case are exactly the same except the readability and the way we code it now let me give 3 it prints grapes now let me give 7 it goes to no fruit so whether you use if then else if multiple else ifs or you use select case the effect is exactly the same so if then else if then else if else select case these are the primary control structures in VB scripting for making branching from one place to another place within the program.